Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to me playing Assassination Rogue and me telling you that Assassination Rogue is the best and then you guys telling me that I shouldn't be using Deadly Poison and then me explaining in every Assassination Rogue video that I don't care about healing reduction in Battlegrounds. Also, announcement. I'm doing a drunk stream in two days. For no reason other than to prep for America Day, which is the 4th of July for all the EU, EU viewers, which maybe maybe you know that the 4th of July is pretty much it's just like a day where I, I was going to say Australians get fucked up for some reason. Uh, Americans get really fucked up and we watch lights in the sky and that's pretty much it. I don't I mean, we know the significance of it, but no one actually like they're the only way to celebrate the significance of 4th of July is through alcohol, obviously. So, uh, yeah, that'll be this Saturday. I'll be doing viewer battlegrounds, and then I don't know if like if oh shit, yeah we're just just not dealing with that. Um, if we get to the point where I get bored of WoW, I might play Overwatch because Overwatch drunk is pretty fun. But I'm gonna have to play someone that can't really aim. But anyway, the 29th, two days from now, be there. It's in the upper left too, the URL, URL or the link or whatever. Anyway, let's show talents, because we haven't done that yet. I think we have, we just didn't talk about it. This for poison damage, this for the gear out damage, this because it's marked for death, this because damage reduction, and it's pretty much baseline, this for the kidney bleed, this for the damage increase, which has been reduced by 10%, I see now. Unless it's always been 20% increased damage. And then I use this for AoE instances. If you don't use this, just use poison bomb. Poison bomb's pretty decent. But in most instances, I like AoEing, or at least attempting to AoE. Like so. Oh man, I was gonna use a lot of cooldowns on that guy, but then he just kind of flopped. Interrupt that. I need to use my Azerite ability a lot more too. It's one of my bad habits. Just not using it. I'm gonna trinket that. Because Warlocks. I'll shut him down anytime I get the opportunity to. Now we go on the Warlock flag carrier, lol. What are you thinking, the Horde? This is why I'm not playing Horde right now, too. We're, we're just like the biggest fucking dumbasses right now. The thing is, I've, I've I've lost so many Battlegrounds in a row recently. It's actually, like, affecting me mentally. It's it's so bad. I'm getting to the point where I'll specific queue for Alliance, and then I'll specific queue as Horde, or I'll just be queuing in general, and even when I switch factions to the winning faction, I'll just lose over and over again. And then I'll just get horrible teammates, and I, I don't know, it feels like I'm, like, marked on the Blizzard browser to just be put in in battlegrounds with, like, the best fucking players in the world. Because every time I get a five-man pre-made on the opposite side, they're always mythic geared. It just makes me so sad. I'm gonna shadow step to that guy, and then grab this. Then we go back, and then they're like, how'd this guy get so much health? Didn't know rogues healed this much. Little do you know. Fucking fire mages, man. I'm just gonna kidney that. Go ahead and finish him. This that's just disgusting. So we put up dots, we throw Azerite Empowerment, and then we kidney. We kidney one of the guys using Greater Pyra. And then we're gonna try to pop that when we're not near him, because it does a fuck ton of damage. Could expire soon, five thousand damage. It's like three of my dot ticks. For some reason the Rat Pally didn't go in there. That's a mythic geared Rat Pally as well. Uh, we're running away, just kidding, we're fucking dead. Yeah, let's just blind him. Go away, Shadow Fiend. I wonder how long the duration on this is. I don't want to get in combat with this guy because I can easily leave combat. So. Okay. A sap and a rake? Or is that a rake? I always mix up the uh, Pharaoh Druid ability names. We're gonna help this guy out. We don't abandon our alliance teammates. I think that's a healer anyway. No, it's not. He's just playing Barrel for some reason. Which means he doesn't really know what he's doing. Just made a Guardian video, by the way, so go ahead and check that out as well. I pretty much talk about how Guardian Druid's the new Feral Druid. Because it does the same damage, but it's, like, it's so fucking tanky right now, it's ridiculous. It's pretty much another Red Pally. Uh, maybe better. I don't know, go check the video out, see for yourself. Let's go on the healer. I know I should probably just use my combo points here, but it's okay. Go ahead and cocoon, please. We're just gonna interrupt this guy forever. 
Uh, I want to get as many ruptures as possible because I'm running a rupture trait that gives me agility, which I haven't run pretty... I haven't run it a lot, but it seems really fun. Let's see how hard we can hit here. I'm wondering if this empowers... If my Vendetta empowers my Azerite ability too. Okay, we're vanishing that. There's also a balance just sitting in the corner, but he didn't choose to come out of the corner until his flag carrier is dead. Just questionable. Questionable team ethic, I'd say. He's a saboteur on the Horde side, which is the drastic measures the Lions have gone to to win Battlegrounds. Kind of playing not great right here in the fact that I'm wasting combo points, but it's okay. Fuck, 28,000, man. Pitching a goddamn tent right now. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what happens when you panic. So I guess we should go over traits. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, Rupture, with, which gives agility. This one that gives primary stat. This one that which gives agility. This one which gives secondary stat. This one which gives agility. <laughs> this one that gives secondary stat. Hunter, aren't you supposed to counter me? Aren't you supposed to be annoying as possible? Oh, it's two rogues on you. God, I'd fucking hate your life. It's a sub and an assassination. There's just no chance. There's just no way. We'll stun you. We'll save you. We'll save you real quick. Yeah, we'll shadow step to this guy. The fuck? I broke a blind, I get blinded, and then I was thinking about blinding him too. We're just all over the place. Good luck. Should have stealthed too. Really shows how focused I am. So we use cooldowns, and we evade all this damage. We're totally gonna survive here, we're not gonna die. Okay, we're, yeah, we're leaving. Sorry, team. And then we could shadow step to this guy if we had it. We're gonna slow these people up. I need to throw my poison dagger ability onto my bar and my stealth. My stealth bar, as it's called. It's gonna guide these guys. The glory of being a rogue. Don't not like this. Shadow step, no. <laughs> okay, we blind you again. Oh man, the tables have been turned. I'm really fucked here. Unless a teammate shows up. But I don't think that's happening anytime soon. No. Well, GG, guys. That was the drunk stream announcement. And again, the 29th Saturday, 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, is usually when I go live, but since it's a special occasion stream, I'm thinking I'll probably go live a little bit earlier. Maybe like 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then I'll just go until I pass out the usual. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, description, bell thing. Check out the Twitch channel. I already plugged that like five times. Thanks for watching. Till next time.